all right people so it's getting pretty late uh, it's about 1 30 in the morning and uh, I'm actually off tomorrow I'm gonna go help my son uh, move into his brand new house and uh, at the same time I'm gonna take the uh, hyper 7 over and see if I can uh, start schooling my grandson a little bit on on driving a nitro getting all my stuff ready um, I'm gonna have to get him a controller uh, I still have this one but I'm not ready to give this one up yet this is the one I've had ever since I've been in nitro pretty much um, I got some, one for my dromeda and stuff but that ain't nothing I've got a uh, I got a JR Racing one over here and an old low C one, but those won't work. They're not 2.4. So I have to pick him up a controller. But we can go tomorrow after we move some stuff in the new house and um, rip the uh, the Hyper. Now, I'm not going to leave the Hyper there. Um, it'll stay here in the Nitro Barn, but but we'll definitely bash when, when he comes to visit. Um... So as you can see, I put the uh, Maxstar .28 in uh, with the 41021 and the 9901. And uh, still have the Savox Blacks in there. Haven't taken them out yet. Um, but I did clean the, the vehicle. So as you can see, she's, she's good to go. I was just tuning the Maxstar. She's uh, purring like a kitten. This, this engine... Doesn't even have a gallon on it yet. It's just barely getting broke in right now. Uh, we're running three Max Life shoes and a 14 tooth uh, bell. Um, and believe it or not, we are running a 9mm Venturi. The 9mm Venturi from uh, the Nova Rossi carburetor, it's a Nova Venturi, fits perfect in the. Uh, Hyper 7 uh, Max Star .28 carburetor. So I think it came with a an 8 or an 8.5, something like that. The blue one, whichever the blue one is. Um, so we put the black 9 millimeter in there. And she's purring like a kitten. I got a good tune on the box for her. And uh, whether my grandson, I, I don't even know if he's there. He, he's with his dad. Uh, every other week so you know uh, custody things and things like that but spends a lot of time with his dad so I'm hoping that he'll be here I should have asked uh, earlier when I talked to him but I didn't but regardless uh, they're over there with a lot of new construction and homes and things in the city and uh, after we get done moving maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and rip it whether he's there or not um, man I, there's uh, man, I've really been holding my tongue on some things, and I'm probably going to continue to hold my tongue. Uh, you know, yeah, next level, you know, nitro engines, uh, Legend 28, the Pico modified I got here. Uh, I haven't even touched it. I'm kind of waiting. I, I've got some other things coming. I want to run another quart through it, and I'm just taking my time, but... We'll get to it, people. I kind of want to do an unveiling after I paint the new body. You know, the new paint scheme and all that for the body. It's just, just a whole new look for the the Techno that's that's going to be rocking that peak, no, peak, Pico. Not the Pico, the Pico. And, um, yeah, we'll, I'll get to it when I get to it, for sure. But, I mean, regardless of what you're running, man, it's all about having fun in the hobby. It's... It's not who can have the best shit or, man, you have to do everything this way, do it this way, do it my way, or you suck. You know, it's, it's like there's, there's a lot of people that, that I would consider mentors in the hobby, you know, guys that have been doing it a long time and, and uh, you know, guys that we've learned from. And they used to be really cool, man. And, and they they were positive, and they, you know, they they tried to help you when when you weren't doing something right. They would make a suggestion, uh, but they definitely wouldn't put you down. You know, they wouldn't make you feel 
like you were an idiot or you weren't good enough for the hobby. So any new people out there that, that feel that way, man, screw those people. Watch what you can. Learn what you can from those people and move on. A lot of it's trial and error. I know for myself, a lot of it was trial and error because error I'm a hardhead, you know. And, and then hooking up with the muggy and stuff, we, we bumped heads a lot. But at this point right now, we're cool. And, and I appreciate that, Muggy. You're, you're a cool dude, man. And I appreciate it. But I will not hesitate to call you out if I think you need to be called out on anything. Obviously not concerning Nitro because you do a lot more research than me and you have a lot more knowledge. But in other areas, you know. But uh, hopefully we won't have any issue to, you know, no need to do that. Um, but guys, just don't let some of these, these, these guys that have been in the hobby a long time, don't let them intimidate you. Uh, you know, don't take the things that they say in the wrong way. That's for sure. Um, just, uh, do what you do and, and, and pay attention. Uh, dot your I's, cross your T's. Don't be in a hurry. Nitro is about patience. It's all about patience, man. You know, and you got to be able to uh, to turn a wrench, to turn a driver. Like this, this hype, this uh, hyper Max Star Point Two Eight. When I first got it, was back when I was just. It was my this hyper was my first buggy, and this was the nitro engine that was on it. Came with this, uh, as Muggy would call it, scrub pipe with the coupler on it. You know. Mr. Boaters yelled, said many times, that don't recommend that. And, but, uh, you know, if that's all you got, people, run that shit. Don't let nobody intimidate you. Don't be afraid to put your work out, out on video as well. Don't, don't, don't get that twisted, guys. If you got a channel and you want to put your stuff out there, put it out there. Do the best you can, though. And if it's, if it's not good enough for somebody... You know, they don't have to watch that shit straight up. You know, they don't have to subscribe to you. They don't have to watch it. But me personally, I've tried to learn a lot in the short time that I've been in 1.8 scale nitro. I mean, I've been in the hobby for probably five years with my LSTs and all that. I'm an LST guru. You ask me anything about an LST, I can tell you. I can put one together blindfolded, I'm sure. But my point is, when I first got this vehicle, I had such a hard time, you know, tuning it and dialing it in. And I would go too far. I'd turn the needles too far one way. I was making big changes. Have patience, man. Now, I mean, I just put this on the box. And just with what I've learned through probably the past year, it's a breeze. You know, one, if you take your time and you learn and you soak the information in before you know it, you'll be able to do this. It, it comes, once you learn how to tune a nitro engine carburetor, it, it becomes second nature. It's, you know, twist, turn that screw, you know, bring that down, bring that up, you know, dial it in. Listen to it. Listen to the sound. Watch the smoke. Sight and sound and feel. You'll know it. You'll know when it's right. It took me a long time to grasp that concept. But, you know, I think I'm doing a lot better. I'm not perfect at it. Although, uh, I know I'm pretty good at it. That's for sure. But don't let some of these guys that have been around a long time, the, you know, the Bodegels and the, the, the Muggy Maniacs and, and the Nitro Nerds and... and you know, all these other guys that have been out in the hobby that are not just teaching, but they're trying to mentor as well. Or some of them are trying to mentor. Some of them just think their their shit don't stink. And if you don't do it their way, it's uh, you're doing it the wrong way. And that's not how it is. So there there's more out there than just the Bodegels and the, the Nitro Nerds. So, you guys do what you do and uh, enjoy the hobby. That's the main thing. Enjoy the hobby. 
Oh, and shout out Gearhead, man. Uh, nice score picking up that whip from the Botagel. I think your son's probably a little too young for a nitro yet, but you can teach him. He did pretty good on the uh, the little electric one. My grandson, these are his electric ones right here, T-Baby. So he's nine years old, and he's just now graduating over to, I don't know how old your son is, but he didn't look like he was nine, maybe four five something like that four five maybe six could be wrong though but shout out john for paying it forward man to that little dude uh keep keep the youngsters you know get them in the hobby as soon as we can uh so we can do more nitro and less e-word although there's nothing wrong with e-word man there are some badass e-words out there especially when you're getting into uh you know professional uh, race kits, truggies and buggies, e-buggies and, and e-truggies. Some pretty badass shit out there. Uh, one of my subscribers uh, mentioned something that he had uh, a couple of nitro, associated nitro vehicles. I think a truggy and a buggy or something like that. Um, I'm not sure. I got to go back and read it. I'm not sure if he was talking about e-truggy or, or nitro truggy, but... Either way, um, I am interested in the associated brand, so I'll check it out. But um, uh, shout out, Gearhead. That's cool, man. You're getting a lot of goodies and stuff. And I agree with John about the Losi clutches. I thought about getting the Novorossi clutch and, and or Works clutch, and I probably will just to have one and check it out. But, man, the Losi clutches and the Losi bells have never let me down. They're just easy. Everything is compatible together. They're not that expensive. You know, the Novorossi clutch, I think the one I was looking at was like 65 or 69 The uh, Losi, uh, you know, w when you get the Losi clutch, it's if you get a complete cut clutch, it's going to be the racing setup with the composite and the, the aluminum. What you want for bashing is all aluminum. And just like John said, uh, either silver green or gold uh normally uh, i would do uh two gold two uh silver and two green and uh all aluminum um on the techno i did all aluminum with the techno shoes and all gold springs in fact tomorrow when i go to the hobby shop i need to pick up some more springs i uh, ordered some more max life four clutch shoes i have about three sets of the three clutch shoes for my buggies i'll only run three clutch shoes on my buggies but anyway guys uh yeah that was that was straight up there for for mr botagel to give uh gearhead addict that stuff man for his kid that's awesome pay it forward man uh oh by the way uh the reason mr botagel that here in texas we wear shorts and complain that it's cold is because we're not used to that shit we're used to 110 degree temperatures outside we freaking melt we suffer over here in the summer uh so when it comes winter time it gets down to 40 degrees that shit's cold to us because we're not used to it but we're wearing shorts because in about an hour or so it's gonna be hot again so we just don't want to have to go in and change. I don't know if that's lazy or smart, you tell me, sir. But anyway, guys, um, Bones Brew, uh, I'm still on it, man. I'm loving it. No problem. Uh, speaking of Mr. Botagel, get your people to lower the, the shipping on that stuff or something so us folks that don't have access to it can get it. I'd love to run it. But at this point, man, bones brew all the way. Byron's is good stuff, but I ain't using it. I ain't, I ain't being paid. I'm not going to be held hostage by their high prices when I got a perfectly good, just as good fuel right there. And just because we haven't been doing it as long, running that fuel in a single nitro engine, I'm on the path to doing that with the bones brew. Uh, I think Muggy probably is not interested in doing our little uh uh comparison but i am continuing the comparison um i just got to get these these uh hinge pins holes tlr hinge pin holders for the uh rear of the 8t 
Now this 8T is no 4.0, it is closer to a 3.0, but I have put some money into it, and I have switched it over. Originally, I wanted to buy a 4.0. You guys know that. I did a whole video on it, but I waited too long, and when I wanted to do it, immediately after they discontinued them, all the new ones were gone. That's why we went the Techno, but I am definitely not disappointed in the Techno whatsoever, but because i wanted to have a, a a tlr and i know this is no tlr but you know at least we we can share some of the badass parts that come on the tlr 4.0 on this vehicle i got this vehicle for 175 dollars brand new with the other nitro engine that's going in t baby's hyper 7 i'll probably give him both these engines the hyper and the max star so I scored all the way around on this. Um, so only at $175, the extra couple of hundred dollars that I put into it is nowhere near what a kit would cost, even a used one. So uh, we're, we're, we're ahead of the game on this one. Now I do want to get the 4.0 shocks. Maybe at some point I'll switch out the chassis. But... Uh, that's part of the fun man it's not just buy a kit and build it man part of the fun is taking something that is not and turn it into something that is so um, you know I've got to answer to all all the issues that are being pointed out I can I can you know come back with some sort of explanation for that but anyway um, Shout out to uh, Family Affair. I know you were busy with the family this weekend, doing some car shopping. I uh, hope you picked up a badass Yoda. And uh, Muggy Maniac was chilling with the family. I had a great day. Where's Nitro Birdman? Where you at, Birdman? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, also, lights out. You should be getting your shocks here any day. And um, uh, what else? Uh, shout out to the normals, everybody that's been commenting on my my uh, my videos, Francisco, Ray, uh, Duke, um, uh, uh, Rack Revo, um, a lot of you guys have been making pretty good comments, Tanner, I appreciate you Tanner, and uh, you know, I, I'm going to miss people. I've got I've got a lot of comments that are coming in. I try to get back to everybody as best I can. I mean, I'm not that big yet. Uh, 471 subscribers. I think I've done pretty well in the five months that I've been on, on YouTube. Um, we must be doing something right over here in the Nitro Barn. I think it's just content. I think you have to be... Uh, you have to be diligent in your videos. You have to try and switch things up a little bit. That's why I'm running different vehicles. I mean, I may run, uh, uh, as the Muggy calls, a scrub whip with a, a cheesy Max Star or an RTR Dynamite uh, one day. And I might run a modified badass AMR modified Pico the next day and then, then a Nova. And then you never know. I might run a Traxxas 3.3. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I don't have none of those. Um, but I'm just saying, man, mix it up a little bit. Run what you got. Have a good time. It doesn't matter if you've got a badass Novorossi or you've got a Maxstar .28. Have fun with what you got. Make it the best that you can, you know. And, and, and John's right. Don't rebuild the Dynamite for $114 what that costs. You could just buy another one. But I don't have a problem if you buy another one. If you can't afford to pay two, three, four, five hundred dollars for a next level nitro, get what you can, man. Get what you can and run that shit. Make it the best it can be, people. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for tonight. It's almost 2 a.m. I'm gonna get some rest. I gotta meet my son around 10. Uh, I will be taking the Hyper with the Max Star .28, which is dialed in on the box. Purring like a kitten. Max Star .28, not the most expensive engine, not the best engine, an RTR engine. But I can make this son of a bitch sing. I guarantee you that shit. You'll see. Alright, 
All right, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, I'm getting tired. I'm starting to ramble on. And uh, I'm going to get out of here before I say something that, that I don't need to be saying. So I love all you guys, man. And I appreciate all the happy birthday wishes. Uh, when it comes right down to it, people, we are a family in this community. And we should all look out for one another, not try to freaking stab people in the back straight up. So remember that shit. And uh, remember, treat people the way that you want to be treated. We'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Good night.